Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, this is actually the first video I've ever made for my channel, so I guess welcome for the first time to my channel. So, I look really ugly right now because it is the middle of the night, so I look like totally sleep deprived and my hair's a mess, so I'm not showing my face. But I'm totally insomniac and I cannot sleep, so I thought I might do something that I've wanted to do for a little while and make a little video about my biggest hobby which is collecting movies and collecting DVDs uh, because I really love film, uh, all film in general. So my favourite all-time actor is Nicole Kidman and so I thought to start off with I would give you guys a little tour through my collection of all of my Nicole Kidman movies. So I have it, uh, I'm big on organisation, so it is organised by year, so it starts with her very first movie, Bush Christmas, which came out in 1983, um, all the way through to her most recent film now. So we have Bush Christmas, it's like a sort of a children's adventure film, she was only uh, 14 when she made it. Um, I haven't seen it in a couple years, but I really like it. Then we have BMX Bandits, which came out the same... I think the year... No, I think the year afterwards, so when she's about 15 or 16. Another sort of adventure movie. We have Skin Deep. She only had a small role in this one. She played a model. Wind Rider. She was a bit older now. She's about 20, and it was like a romantic comedy set on, like, a beach... A beach town and she had a relationship with Tom Berlinson who she actually dated in real life as well. Vietnam which is a 10 episode TV show that she starred in. Bangkok Hilton which is another TV series. Um, she was amazing in this. I really love it. It's all about a woman played by Nicole who goes to Bali and someone plants drugs in her bag which um, was so spooky because it's so similar to the Chappelle Corby case, of course. And uh, Nicole is amazing in this TV show. Days of Thunder, which is, of course, where she met Tom Cruise and then got married. Billy Blathgate, which is like a crime drama movie, and she plays um, Dustin Hoffman's girlfriend. My Life, which is a really, really sad movie about... Um, Michael Keaton has cancer and Nicole plays his wife. Malice, in which she and Alec Baldwin are married. And um, this is like a really great thriller movie. This is one of the most underrated Nicole movies, in my opinion. Nicole is amazing in this film. Like, the tra trajectory of her character is just insane. And like, there's plot twists and thrills and it's just... It's like a psychological mystery and it's, it's excellent, but it's so underrated because it's so old so no one's ever heard of it. To Die For, she won her first Golden Globe for Best Actress for To Die For. It's a really great snarky uh, satire comedy about the world of television and celebrity obsession. Then this is a two-pack movie. Um, Portrait of a Lady, which is like a costume drama, and then Far Away, which was her second movie with Tom Cruise, which was like an Irish, um, a movie set in Ireland, and I think they, I can't remember, I think they played like farmers or something. The Peacemaker, which Nicole and George Clooney, and they were like, um, FBI agents or something. I haven't seen them in a while, I just can't quite remember. Um, let's see. Okay, so Nicole is a nuclear scientist for the United States and there's like some big security bomb threat and she and George Clooney like save the day. Practical Magic, in which she plays a witch for the first time. And her and Sandra Bullock are sisters who are both witches. This is such a good movie. Birthday Girl, which she plays a Russian male order bride. It's kind of a weird quirky movie but it's a really different role, and I'm glad it's in her filmography. Moulin Rouge, of course, one of my favourite performances, because she's just 
amazing. She sings and dances and she's just so dazzling in this movie and it's one of her most famous parts. The Others, which is a really cool, spooky, eerie ghost, classical mystery ghost movie um, and she does a really good job and it's actually a seriously scary movie. The Hours, one of my all-time favourite movies and all-time favourite Nicole performances because she won her Oscar for this movie and um, it was really well deserved and she starred with Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore in it and she played the writer Virginia Woolf and it was, it's terrific. I just picked this movie up yesterday um, because I've been looking for it a little while and it was really expensive on eBay but I got it from this little shop in Brisbane um, for only $8 and it's a drama movie and Nicole is um, having an affair with Anthony Hopkins' character so I can't wait to watch that one. And then we go down to Cold Mountain which is like a big um, war, civil war epic movie set in the 1800s I believe. We have Dogville which is another sort of, it's directed by Lars von Trier, who is known for sort of really weird indie experimental type of films. And so this film was actually filmed as though it was a play, like on a stage set. So the contrast between that can look a bit odd in a movie, but it's a really great performance by Nicole. And it has people like Lauren Bacall in it, James Kahn. So it's got a lot of great actors. Stepford Wives. Now, people often bag this movie out a lot and say it's terrible, but I actually really love it. I always have loved it. It's like a really great black comedy. It's got a lot of funny moments. And also, Nicole looks like so gorgeous with her long blonde hair in the film, just like on the cover here. So I really like it. And I don't really care what people think. The Interpreter, which is like also my mum's favourite Nicole movie, just FYI. And it's where she plays an interpreter at the UN who overhears an assassination plot. And Sean Penn is like the detective who investigates her to see if she's telling the truth, if she's really a good guy or if she's a bad guy. It's a great movie. Bewitched. This was the very first movie I saw of Nicole's back in 2005 when I was nine years old and it's what made me absolutely fall in love with her and it made her become my favourite actor because Bewitched is a remake, uh, a film remake of the old TV show Bewitched which I loved that show when I was a kid so when I heard them making a movie I was only nine or ten I went to see this movie with my mum and I just loved it. Um, this is another film that gets bad reviews and people pay it out but I love it. Fur, which is a really unusual indie film. Nicole does a lot of indie films, and I love that she does because I think it's really brave and it adds more interesting choices than just seeing some boring Avengers film where you can have really great, unusual, different, mysterious films like the one she does, which is what Fur is. So she plays the real-life woman Diane Arbus, who was a photographer known for photographing, uh, taking photographs of, like, circus freaks and um, really overweight people or people with disabilities, like sort of different um, people who are diverse and were minorities and she gives a really good performance as always. Happy Feet, I just bought this movie this morning and finally added it to my collection. So it's an animated film and Nicole is the voice of Happy Feet's mum, so she plays a penguin. Um, she doesn't have a huge role in it, but I have to have it for my collection. And I saw this movie when I when it came out about, oh, it must be 13 years ago by now. And I really liked it. The Invasion. This is another one of my favourite, absolute, like, top five movies of hers. It's a science fiction thriller about this virus that um, invades the human race and everyone starts turning into, like, these weird zombies and, like, killing everyone else and Nicole is one of the few people who hasn't been affected by the virus and she's trying to save her son and stay alive and it's such a scary thrilling film I love it 
The Golden Compass, which is like a big fantasy epic based on the Philip Pullman books, and Nicole plays the villain. Um, what's her name again? I can't remember. Mrs. Coulter. Mrs. Coulter, and she's like really evil and nasty in this movie. But she, Nicole plays the villain so well. Margot at the Wedding, which is another really cool little known indie movie that um, I like. As you can tell, I love the independent movies. I love when things are different. And Nicole, Jennifer Jason Lee, Jack Black. It's really dramatic. It has like black comedy, slight funny moments, but it also sort of goes into some darker themes. But um, it's a really good performance. Australia. I saw this movie in cinemas when it came out 11 years ago with my friend Kate and I remember loving it because it was so popular at the time because it was like the entire country of Australia was like so proud to have a movie starring Hugh Jackman and Nicole, you know, some of our top Australian actors in a movie that really glorified Australia. So it's a really great big romantic sweeping epic movie. Nine, which is a musical based on the stage play from the 80s, I believe, and it's all about Daniel Day-Lewis and the relationships he has with multiple women, which mean his sister and his mother and his mistress and his wife and old girlfriends and female colleagues. That's all about the women, nine women in his life. Nicole is a small part as a woman he once dated named Claudia, and she sings a really good song in the film. Rabbit Hole, another one of my top five favourite performances. Nicole received her third Best Actress Oscar nomination and she plays a woman whose son has died and she's grieving his loss. She gives an absolutely raw, beautiful performance in this movie and I just, I'm so glad she did it. I love it. She also produced this movie, which is the first time she became a producer. Just Go With It, which is an Adam Sandler comedy, and Nicole has a small supporting part. She has about four or five scenes, and it's like a surprise cameo role. She's super, super funny, because she doesn't really do comedy movies, but I love that she did this, because she's great at comedy. Trespass, which is a Nicolas Cage and Nicole starring thriller about them playing husband and wife, who are at home one day when... A group of thugs break into their house and hold them hostage because Nicolas Cage 